So there really is antimatter. It is real. Okay. Why is it against matter so much? So antimatter would be a particle where the quantum properties are the opposite of what they are for matter. So what's the charge on an electron? Negative. Negative. The charge on the antimatter version would be positive. That's where you get positron. You could have the neutron. Okay. Well, what would be an anti-neutron if it's neutral? That's my point. How are you going to have an anti-neutral particle when I, you don't have a charge? Exactly. It doesn't have a charge. Well, so what's a neutron made of? I don't know. Quarks. Well, I knew that. Okay. Well, the quarks have fractional charges. Okay. So what we learn is that if you take an antimatter and matter particle and you bring them together, mm -hmm. they annihilate. Gotcha. How do I annihilate the neutron? You get the anti-neutron that's made of anti-quarks. If you have a photon that has enough energy so that when you plug it into this formula, oh. you have enough mass to make a particle, it can spontaneously turn into matter. Damn! Yes, yes. spontaneously. So now... If I'm going to make like an electron, right? I can't just make an electron out of energy because I started out with no net charge. So if I'm going to make particles, they have to add up to nothing, okay? So if I don't have a charge to begin with, if I make an electron, you damn sure I better make a positron. Right. So the positive cancels the electron. If I'm going to make a matter particle, you damn sure I got to make an antimatter anti particle because matter and antimatter cancel out. If the universe behaved as we expect, Expected it, there would be no matter anywhere in the whole universe because everything would have become photons cooled below the particle making energy.